Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be reading a book called There's No Place Like Space, all about our solar system. Written by Tish Reid, illustrated by Aristide Ruiz. And before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to see more of my amazing stories. Now let's get into it. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There's no place like space I will prove to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars, and in case you have missed them, You'll soon see. I guess they're going to space, right? The planets in our solar system. I think that's sun. I can't find any of Earth. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury is close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same, hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus, really, really hot. Nearly 900 Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here's a clue. Let's try to guess it, guys. It is my home and home to think one and think two. It might be, first let's read this one. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet. I think it might be Earth, because we live on Earth. Earth, we knew it guys. It spins all the time round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it will never stop home sweet home this is a question had think one and think two and a tizzy if the earth's always spinning why don't we feel dizzy hmm let's try to see this we don't feel the earth as it spins on its own way, because we're spinning right now with it every day. You know why? If the Earth's spinning and we don't feel it, it's because it's spinning so fast we can't even feel it. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it's covered with dust. Travel to J Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has its rings. It, it's so light. What would you think? It could flow in, the, in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that Surround it. Your minus has lots of these objects around it. Those look like rocks, or as I said, satellites. It might be satellites. Let's figure out what that is. There are colors in space. I will show you some to you. I will show some to you. Neptune, planet eight. It is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now let's read these. Mallory, Valerie, M. Illy, Mickles, just for, so Mallory for Mercury, Valerie for Venus, 
Emily for Earth, Nichols for Mars, Just for Jupiter, Saved for Saturn, Up your up for Uranus. <gasps> That's a sentence. That's a sentence. Mallory, Valerie, Emily Nichols just saved up nine hundred ninety-nine nickels. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of these planets you name. That's a lot of nickels. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect to all these stars you can see with your eyes. This is great dog. This is great bear. This is Orion. The constellations. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call. A dog, the great bear, and Leo, and Leo the lion, Terius the bull, and a hunter, and a hunter. A star in the sky may look small, like a dot, but it's really big, glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star by far. That's one, one. That's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called. I think I know what it is. The sun. Did you guys ever know that the sun, that a sun was a star? From the Earth, it looks big. There is one reason why it's the closest to Earth. One of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes will hurt, and that will not be fun. Yeah, guys, if you look at the sun for a long time, your eyes will hurt really, really bad. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute. A million of our Earths could all fit right in it. I think thing two or thing one is saying that. Oh, look at the time! We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. <gasps> That's the moon, guys. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but a big mirror reflects the sun's light. <gasps> It's astronauts, guys. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. Have you guys ever went on a moon? They walked on the moon and they drove all over in a special moon car called a Luna Rover. I really want to go to the moon someday. Maybe when I get a little older. An astronomer studies. What's up in the sky? Thing two wants to be one. In fact, so so do I. I I want to be an astronaut too. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look at the sky. Just put this telescope on on. Up to your eye, oh dear! I must go fly back back up to the stars and take thing one and thing two out out to dinner on Mars. You guys want to have dinner on Mars? But there's lots to discover, and it might be you who looks up at the sky. Do you guys have a telescope? I do. And finds something that's new. And that was the end of the story, guys. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to see more of my amazing stories. See you guys in the next one.